Hey guys, thanks so much for all the support. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my Facebook page on the link on the page for the latest updates. Peace, enjoy. All right, boys, we're going into the koi pond. You guys can see here, I don't think I've ever shown underwater feeding on my koi. Um, I think the vast majority of them imported from Japan. You see some momotaros, some shinodas, some sakai fish, and the all sorts of also all sorts of koi. So there's I have a lot of tancho sankeis, I have some shiro utsuris, I have some um, I love those um, I love these orange black ones. They're called a hi utsuris, and just a whole bunch of them that I love. The whole mix of them. And if you all are wondering, what are some of the other fish? Well, I see a lot of black tilapia there. Like, I kind of growing out here away from the big pond. I have some red tilapia. I have a couple of errant goldfish that probably ended up as, uh, they were probably feeder fish that grew too big to be eaten. So they just enjoyed the koi pond now chilling. And there you can see my prune sharks waiting because they don't really like the pellets. They used to eat it when they were young, but now they just eat meat. So they're waiting for round number two, which is coming up real soon. And you guys don't get to see this guy a lot, but check it out. It's my kind of hybrid green gold arowana. It's probably like 12 years. I don't even know how old he is. I think he's over 10 years old now. He used to live in the big pond with my Jardini, but my Jardini picked on him so much that he got beaten up really badly. Now you can see he's got perfect finish, perfect scales. He's pretty much the king of this tank. He's got a big old belly, so I know he's doing well. And he's actually been responsible for my uh, biggest video thus far. That was his moving video in my old house actually got 4 million views. So he's a pretty old fish that you guys can finally see. You can see he's doing pretty well in the koi pond chilling. He doesn't really bother the koi and the koi don't bother him. So um, I like him living here. Rarely get to see him though because he's kind of small. And he eats chopped up fish which you'll see in a, in a bit. Check this out guys. You guys probably don't remember but in my old videos I actually have a couple of bitches in the pond. They're really hard to see. But this, I found this guy on the floor and he looks really tiny from this camera angle but he's actually over a foot long, pretty darn girthy and thick. I'm not going to say what he resembles but you guys know what I mean. Looks amazing and he's doing really well. He eats some of the chopped up fish and probably some of the baby tilapia in here because they do breathe in here a bit. So um, yeah, he's just chilling at the bottom. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to get closer and closer to him but I think he gets kind of freaked out and runs away. But we're really getting to see him and now he's just chilling and living in the pond. Beautiful, and I believe that he's an ornate bitch here, judging from the patterns, but comment below if I'm wrong, because you guys just love correcting me when I'm wrong. <laughs> but I do believe he's an ornate bitch here. Beautiful, look at him. Yeah. Okay. Yo, even I rarely get to see this type of footage of my beast prunes eating. I have about six of them in this pond. 
and I'm grooming them to be released in the big pond because you know I used to have one prune shot in the big pond but he got really lonely and they do better in packs a lot more confidence you can see these guys are not really shy to shove their way between the tilapia and quite to get theirs you know so eventually maybe in about a year or so these guys will be big enough to survive in the big pond and I'll toss them all in there they should look really awesome in a school of six in the big pond so looking forward to that so for now they they eating they eat tons they eat till their bellies are huge and you know they're doing pretty well Okay. Yo, I thought I'd throw him some bonus footage of the large pond feeding. Unfortunately, you guys know that the algae is kind of out of control, so I have to refilm this at a better date. But I'll just try and cut a couple of the cool clips, and you can only see a little bit, to be honest. Mostly of the arapama. So I'll refilm this, but for now, I'll just include this bonus footage. Peace. Yeah, I was getting pretty nervous at this point because you it may not look like it but I'm standing right next to these guys and this guy in front of me here that's just munching on some fish at the bottom he's well over six feet so you know he could take me out I don't have any like armor or protection from him. you can see his body there he's a he's a monster man so I was getting pretty nervous getting this footage for you guys risking my life yo And guys, this is my fly river turtle, fully grown big dude. I only have one in the massive pond, so he's the king. I used to have two, but he killed his partner. I'm not sure why, they're pretty aggressive towards their own species. And this was another nervous part for me, yo, because this guy was coming after my toes, and I, I was scared that he mistook my toes for food. So I tried to jump out of the pond here because, you know, he bites my toes. He could, he could take me out for sure. So I was getting a bit scared, but then luckily he swam away. Awesome guy. I've also had him for almost 10 years now, so all these guys are pretty pretty long in my family, man. He's enjoying some fish and he also eats the koi pellets. Anyway guys, sorry I couldn't really see any of the snake kids or the walagos or the red tailed cats, even though I have like seven of them now, because they're actually pretty scared of me and I, I didn't really give much time for them to get used to me before I threw in the food. So maybe next time I'll stay in the pond longer before I feed them so they get used to me. And hopefully the water clarity will be better because I'm going to pick up extra UV lights this weekend. 
Hope you enjoyed the bonus underwater footage, guys. Peace.